The World Cancer Day comes with a prelude such as this. And to make the advocacy even better, Success Stories firms the order of the day as cancer survivors join in the advocacy. Well, what we are trying to um, ask the Nigerian government to do is to create cancer centers and like the HMOs, the sugar and cover cancer used to be go a long way because most of the patients can't afford the treatment, which makes me makes it difficult to even raise money, you know. So if the government can make cancer a priority in their health um, dealings, it will help a lot of cancer patients survive because some people are addicted early, but because of there's no money, they die and there's no treatment, it takes their life. But if you find out those that get it early and they start treatment with, with the little money they have, they go a long way. The organizers say it's a project worth doing considering the poor attention given to the disease which they say is a leading cause of deaths. What we are saying today is you know cancer is not really a death sentence as so many people think it is. You know so many people survive cancer and the most important thing we're doing today is to create awareness to engage the people for them to take proactive steps about their health because when people take proactive steps about their health they can actually detect cancer early. Because the greatest challenge we have today is late detection of cancer. Cancer is detected at a very late stage. And for that reason, most people die of cancer in this country. And the only way we can get this is to engage people and more. Engage more, engage the government as well to provide facilities, to provide especially treatment facilities. Other participants at the advocacy are of the view that early detection and awareness is key to fighting the deadly disease. Sign, make sure you sign. Make yeah, sure you sign um, you honestly, make sure you take photos. I believe that um, you can use the backdrop government to can to help in creating the awareness among men. They can go through jingles, through text messages, through their phones, through social media, and let men know the importance of, uh, you know, having to procure these tests so that they know their status at any point in time. The thing is the medication, the diet, exercise, and um, faith in God, but it is very, very expensive for the sufferers and the survivors. And uh, people who can afford it should, you know, should think in a way to assist the sovereigns and the survivors. Government, government needs to get more involved in the, um, in the fight against cancer. At least maybe they should awareness cancer, fight against cancer and awareness. Um, they should try as much as possible maybe to give free medical, medical treatment or um, medical treatment and drugs in the uh, hospitals. And please actually, they should try as much as possible to include it in NHIS. Because I think cancer is not included in the NHIS um, uh, zip product or what. And a lot of people can, they don't really actually they can't afford to buy drugs for cancer or for the treatment because it's very, it's very expensive. Other stakeholders urge Nigerians to lend a helping hand to those battling with cancer. When it comes to charitable events, causes, uh, where it impacts the community positively, creates awareness to help the community at large, we are always there. You can always count on the American community in Abuja, specifically, to be seriously active and support. Uh, we do our widow's might financially, making noise, coming up with our bikes, with our uniforms, our jackets, our, you can see what I'm wearing now, flashy helmets, just to be attractive, they'll get in, interested. They'll ask, what is this, what, why are you here? And they will not talk about the cause we are trying to support and push, and, uh, and that's how we've been doing it for years. Cancer awareness advocacy is one of the core essence of the World Cancer Day commemorated 4th February every year. Merciful Ajinomo, PTV News Abuja.